Hello, I'm Brian O'Neill with IP Truck, and today we're going to do another walk around. I'm excited to introduce you to this Hino 195 with a switch and go interchangeable body system. Here at IP Truck, uh, we are a Hino dealer and we're also a switch and go dealer. Um, so we install the switch and go hoist and operating system in our body shop, and uh, we've got multiple trucks bodied up and ready to go. Um, and we also have multiple bodies um, on the ground and ready to go. So if you need a switch and go system, um, we've got you covered. Today we've got a 14 foot roll off dumpster on this truck and this is one of our most popular configurations. Um, we sell this truck into um, home renovation, uh, construction cleanup, roofing, and any type of uh, junk removal vocation. This body is perfect. Um, in addition to the roll-off dumpster, we also have flatbed, chipper, landscape dump bodies, storage container, and then equipment subframes. And on an equipment subframe, for instance, you may put a, uh, a spray body or some other application uh, on top of that or a gin set, and uh, those are very popular as well. As a business owner, there are several reasons that you would like to consider a switch and go and putting one of these in your fleet. Um, the first reason is flexibility. Um, with a switch and go, you've got one chassis and you can have multiple bodies. You can have multiple bodies that are the same or different uh, depending on what your operation uh, is. And as a business owner, that effectively expands your fleet at a lower price point. Uh, great utilization of the chassis, great utilization of your capital, uh, which is a good thing. In addition, these are very safe. Uh, they're safe going down the road. And then when you're on the job site, you can load and unload these while they're on the ground. And uh, that ground loading um, is really nice and safe and efficient. Um, in addition, they are fast, and I'm gonna show you that today in the video. In less than three minutes, we can demount this body and put it on the ground. And the same thing, in less than three minutes, um, we can get it uh, mounted back on the truck. And again, we'll show you this uh, switch and go system in action uh, here in just a few minutes. And what I always like to say is that they are rugged, they are tough, they look great, and they're very functional. Um, with that being said, let's take a closer look. Um, again, this body, um, is on a Hino 195. So the Hino 195 has a 19,500 gross vehicle weight. This body is a 14 foot roll off dumpster and will carry approximately 7,500 pounds of uh, payload. We're gonna walk around and take a look at some of the fit and finish on these. And one of the things that I like, and as I said, they're rugged, they're tough, and they look great, and the fit and finish is just amazing. Uh, the welds on uh, the switch and go bodies are really nice. They're all seam sealed. They're painted with a, uh, a two-part epoxy paint, so uh, extremely durable. There's a, uh, a tie-down bar on the center of uh, the roll-off container on each side to help you uh, uh, secure tie-down tarps. All of the doors have got uh, really nice uh, steel locking plates to lock the chain in. And if you take a look at this hinge, one of the things that I really like, um, a lot of times if you've got a roll off container, the hinges are lightweight and flimsy. And that is not the case on a switch and go. Um, so you can really put this body to the test and your doors aren't gonna get tweaked over time and uh, be hard to close. As we come around to the back of the truck, uh, you'll see that there, it's barn door system. Uh, we really like that setup. It's got a tongue uh, with individual locks um, at the bottom. There's a chain to secure the door open. And then we've got another lock uh, midway up. If the cameraman takes a look inside the bed, again, we've got 10 gauge steel. We've got six tie downs on uh, the floor. And we've got one, two, three, uh, four um, D-ring tie downs um, at the top, um, which is really nice. While we're back here, um, I'll point this out as well. Every switch and go system that we set up, we do with the combination uh, ball and pintle hitch. Uh, we have a seven-way plug in the back that will take care of your 
trailer brakes and lighting. And uh, we've got heavy, heavy duty uh, uh, D-rings to secure your safety chains uh, to. All of the lights are LED and then it's a, we've got multiple adjustments so that you can get the uh, hitch just at the right height uh, for the trailer uh, that you're towing. And if I'll bring the cameraman around here real quick, I want to point this out. This really drives home how heavy duty these are. If you can see the gauge uh, steel on these hinges, it is incredibly uh, heavy duty. Um, so those aren't going to get tweaked. Uh, one other point I want to uh, talk about, a lot of times you'll be driving this truck around just as a chassis because you're going to drop the uh, roll-off uh, dumpster uh, off at the work site. And uh, traditionally you would just have a mud flap in the back, but since the body's demountable, uh, Switch and Go comes with these heavy-duty fenders. They do a great job uh, when you're going down the road. They're rugged and tough as well. Um, this particular body has a 50-inch side door, uh, which is a popular feature that we like to uh, include. This will allow you to load palletized material, um, so it's wide enough to get your pallet in there. Um, in addition, it's really handy uh, when you put this uh, dumpster on the ground at the work site uh, to be able to uh, open up the side door and load it. Um, and like the back doors, this side door uh, has got some really heavy duty um, locking systems that are easy to use. All right, now we'll show you the switch and go uh, roll off dumpster in action. Um, it is super easy and it takes less than three minutes. And it's three steps is the way I like to think about it. First thing I do, I walk to the back of the truck and you need to just make sure um, that the area is clear and it's gonna be safe to offload the body. Next, there's a safety pin and I'm gonna reach in there and remove it. I've already taken the cotter pin out of the back of it. And then there's a uh, handy holster right here to hold that. And then step three is to just get the switch and go uh, controller. And uh, the cameraman can come in, just take a quick look. And uh, it's super simple. Just two toggle switches, one for the hoist to the winch and one for up and down and in and out. So uh, it's super straightforward. We've got it set up for the hoist, and up we go. Now, this will go up to a 50 degree angle um, so that you can have the barn doors open and actually dump this at the dump. Uh, to offload it like we are, you just need to go up high enough that uh, gravity will take over and you can uh, let the winch out and uh, let it down to the ground. And that's a little bit of experience based. On, on how high up you need to go. I'm gonna switch it over to the winch. Right before it touches the ground, I like to slow down a little bit and you can really just gently lower it in case you're on a, a driveway in a neighborhood, you can do it with uh, not leaving any marks uh, whatsoever. So getting the switch and go roll off dumpster on the ground is just as simple as what we just did. Um, if I were going to actually leave it here, I'd put a little bit of slack uh, in the cable with the winch, pull forward a few feet and disconnect it and we would be off. Um, today I want to uh, take a look at the fit and the finish and give you a really good look at the switch and go hoist and operating system. It is super clean, uh, efficient system, and our body shop has done a great job on the installation. Uh, again, it's just super clean. I want to point this out. This is an additional place where you can connect the hand controller uh, that I use to uh, lower and raise the, uh, the body. 
particularly when you're dumping, sometimes it's handy to uh, get a little bit closer uh, to where you're dumping it so that you can see how much product that you're putting out and uh, it just allows you to see things a little bit better. But for the purposes of what we're doing today, I really prefer to leave it in the, uh, in the truck. And then as we uh, take a look back, you're able to see um, what it looks like on the ground and you can open up the barn doors in the back or you can open up the side door and uh, load and offload your product or you can throw whatever it is uh, over or, lo or load it with a uh, mini backhoe or whatever the case is. Now, if you have any questions at all on a switch and go operating system, please uh, give us a call. Visit us online, iptruck.com. You'll see all the switch and go trucks that we have, all of the different bodies. Um, like our YouTube channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe to that. We're constantly putting up uh, new content. Um, we've put a lot of trucks out there. It might give you some really nice ideas for uh, something that you would like to do with your fleet. Uh, like us on Facebook and uh, don't go anywhere. What we're gonna do real quick is put this body uh, back on the truck and let you see what that looks like. Thanks again. All right, now we'll put the roll-off dumpster uh, back on the truck and we'll give you a chance to see what that looks like. Then you just grab your safety pin, take it out of the holster, put it through, put your cotter pin in, and you're done. It's just that simple.